Hi, my name is John Holler. I'm the technical director of Holchem Laboratories in the UK, and I'm also a visiting professor at Cardiff Metropolitan University in food safety. My name is Joe Staub. I am the president of Commercial Food Sanitation. I have a long history in the food industry with hygienic design. I was responsible for hygienic design, product protection at Kraft Foods and did that for about 10 years. And it's something that's really important to the industry and really important to me personally after investing all these years in hygienic design. Hygienic design as a subject has been around for many years. It started in 1910, 1920, and was primarily used to maintain food quality. So factories were designed and equipment was designed such that the quality of the, the food was produced was, was the same. Then became more important in the 1980s because of its recognition in food safety and indeed many of the major food safety incidents we've had with, with microbiological pathogens has been caused by poor design of hygienic equipment. And lastly, it's important because of efficiency. If we make hygienic design uh, of equipment and facilities, they're easy to clean, they're easy to maintain, and we maximize our, our production efficiency. It has been well established in some major food companies like Unilever and Nestle, but otherwise it's had little attention. The basics of hygienic design have been established in terms of the science, and in Europe we have the European Hygienic Engineering European Hygienic Engineering Design Group and in America the three A's organizations have set standards for, for a number of years. The problem we have is whether to develop hygienic design we have to push it from the equipment manufacturers and the facility manufacturers or whether the pull has got to be from the industry. So hygienic design is required but how do we get there? and GFSI is now in an excellent position to, to create a pull from the food manufacturers to try and ensure that the equipment that they use and the facilities that they manufacture food in is of the best hygienic design. So it's perfectly timely now to, to consider this for, for GFSI. Oh my goodness, let me count the waves. Um, to me, it's, I, I spend a lot of time on the plant floor observing sanitation, how difficult it is to clean and disassemble equipment. And with a better hygienic design, we will be more effective in our cleaning process and it will be much more efficient. So it really is important to food safety. It's the fundamental thing, in my opinion. And it's great that GFSI is taking this initiative to be more broadly focused to include hygienic design at this point. The working group is looking at uh, two things. It's looking at trying to put guidance together for the, uh, the equipment manufacturer and the facility uh, constructor to create something hygienic. And it's also trying to provide guidance to the end user, the food manufacturer, the retailer, uh, all across the, the, the food chain, on the selection of something that's hygienic. So we're helping develop benchmark standards for, for both sides of the industry, the manufacturers and the uh, constructors of equipment, but also, on the other hand, the, uh, the end users uh, across the whole of the food chain. So that will be in the form of uh, benchmark requirements, which will go in the GFSI benchmark standards, but also as a, as a general guidance to try and introduce people to the concept of hygienic design, uh, what it means, how to risk uh, make a risk assessment, what hazards you're trying to control, how you might control those hazards by appropriate design of facilities and equipment.
what we're trying to do is take the create benchmarks in scope K. There are benchmarks from A to N. This one is scope K. And it's to better understand and apply benchmarking to hygienic design standards for equipment. So what that means is we will be able to talk about standards and common expectations across the industry from the farm all the way to the fork. Now the challenge with that is it is a huge scope to get equipment designed, which is typically out of the scope of what a food processor considers their responsibility. It's going to take this to the manufacturer of equipment from not only the processor, but also to the farm. So it's trying to pull all of that information together and have it understood globally within the food safety, uh, the global food safety initiative. So how that's gonna work, I'm not sure yet, but it's a huge task. And I think it's one thing that can drive improvement. And the reason I think it's gonna drive improvement is because the customer demands certain things. And if that is demanded by a customer, then the processor will do it. And that's the power in this process.